This video discusses about the loops in Java. The first loop structure in Java is the while loop. What while loop does is it executes a block of code repetitively until a condition stays true. As soon as the condition becomes false, it's going to come out of the loop. It will stop executing it repetitively. Let's take an example. Int counter equals zero while counter is less than 10. I'll say print the counter. I will run this. You can see that it continues to printing zeros and it's not stopping. It is printing very fast. I'll go ahead and then stop this program. What just happened is it came here. Counter is less than 10. 10. Zero is less than 10. It's true. It came and printed the counter. And again, it goes back, checks whether counter is 10 this time. Yes, it is still less than 10. It prints this. So it keeps on going until this condition is true. This condition is never going to be false because we are not doing anything to the counter within the loop. So that's why it entered the infinite loop. I had to stop the program. Let's go ahead and increment the counter using the increment operator which is plus plus. This increments it by one. And in this case, what happens is every time it executes, it's going to increment the counter. And at some point of time, it has to come down, come out of the loop. So there we go. We have the results printed zero through nine. So as soon as it reaches 10, it comes here, it checks whether 10 is less than 10. No, it breaks out of the loop and comes out the program ends. So that's that's the loop. So as long as the condition is true, it continues to print the system.out.println counter and then keep incrementing the counter. This is fine. If I always want to print the counter, what should I do? For example, I'll, I'll increase the counter to 11 and run this program. What happens? it does not print anything. But I would like to print the counter at least once and I want to print the counter and then check the condition. Java does provide such facility. For that, it provides something called do while. So all we need to do is put the condition to check it at the end and in the initial begin, you just specify a do. What this does is it comes into this block of statement, it prints the counter, which is 11 in this case, and then increments the counter, which is 12, and then checks whether 12 is less than 10. If it is yes, it will go and then operate. Since it is no, it will stop repeating the statements. So let's go ahead and then run this. It prints just 11. What happens if it is zero? It starts at zero and then keeps printing until nine. Once it is 10, it comes out of the loop. So that's the do while loop, a slight difference from the while loop. Now, if you look, look at this closely, there are three different statements which is used to keep count of the how many times it has been executed. The one is int counter equals zero. This is initializing a variable incrementing it and checking it. So three different statements and there is a lot of room for making errors. Java provides a construct called for loop, which avoids, which, which puts all these three statements into the loop construct itself. Here is how it works. For We'll take this, put it here, and then note that it is ending with the semicolon there. And the second statement is for checking whether it has reached its 
intended value and the third statement is of course count plus plus so so now what I, what happened uh, in this uh, particular statement is we have put everything in one single for loop counter equals 0 counter less than 10 counter plus plus and print the counter i will go ahead and then execute the result is same it prints 0 through 9 so this for loop provides all three statements uh, initialization checking and the increment into one single for for loop uh, statement so that it will minimize the error let's go ahead and then uh, play around a little bit with the for loop so assume that I want to print from 2 to 20 it's like a two times table uh, 2 to 20 but incrementing with 2 at a time. I want to print all the even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8. To do that it's pretty easy. Let's start at 2. Print until it is less than or equal to 20 because I want to print 22. 20 also plus equals 2. So I'm incrementing it by 2 every time. So we'll go ahead and print this. So there you see it printed 246 through 20, all the even numbers. 